Hi everyone, this is Jillian from Jewish Workshops and AISH Webinars. I am thrilled to be joining all of you today and we are extremely privileged to have Sarah Hanna Radcliffe on the line with us. Before we get started, I'd love to see who's joining us and where you're from. So if you could go to your question box on the right hand side of your screen and put in your first name and where you're joining us from, I'd love to be able to welcome you. And welcome to Diane. It's so nice to see you. Hello, Charlotte from Los Angeles. Welcome, Shahar from Houston. Elisheva from Lakewood. Welcome, Janine from London. Oh, they're going so fast here. Moshe from Miami. Welcome, Rifka from France. And Sandra from Oceanside. Liz from Baltimore. Welcome, Shira from Muncie. Zizi from Natanya. Nice to see you on the line. Welcome, Chaya from Israel, and Rifki from Brooklyn, Zita from Toronto, welcome, Robin from Illinois, Yehudis from Zurich, Bryna from Toronto, Rachel from Montreal, welcome, Gila from Switzerland, and Alan from Providence, Rhode Island, welcome, Linda from St. Louis, Ben from Jerusalem, Robert from Missouri, welcome, Pesci from Boca, Julie from Toronto, and Kay from Kansas, Melanie from Long Island. Wow, hundreds and hundreds of people continue to join us. I uh, don't want to miss anyone, but I might not get to all of your names. Welcome Josh from New York and Meira from Oceanside. Jackie from Baltimore. Chaya from Michigan. Eden from Brooklyn. Welcome Sandra from Milwaukee and Bossy from London. Hana from California. Welcome. We've got um, Lucretia, I hope I just pronounced your name right, from South Africa. Welcome, it's nice to see you. Sivia from Muncie, Marsha from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Tikva from Philadelphia. Welcome, welcome, it is so nice to see everyone here. This is absolutely amazing. Oh wow, Malka from, um, it looks like Pennsylvania, but you're vacationing in Puerto Vallarta. That sounds fantastic, uh, welcome. Uh, this is absolutely incredible. As I said, people continue to flood in from all over the world, and it's so nice to see everyone here today. Um, we did have over 3,000 signups, so I just want to make sure that, um, you know, we're going to hit capacity any minute, and I want to make sure that you know... <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, that if you leave and um, there isn't any room on the line, you may get locked out. So please make sure to stay with us. Um, there's so much amazing material that Sarah Khan is going to share with us. We'll get to some questions at the end, and we will definitely um, introduce you to an entire full uh, five-part amazing series that's coming for you. This is going to open your eyes, and this is going to be the beginning of a journey right here today. And we look forward to uh, seeing where it's going to take us. So it is truly an honor to be hosting Sarah Hanna Radcliffe today. A registered member of the College of Psychologists of Ontario, Sarah Hanna has been practicing marriage, parenting, and individual counseling for over 40 years. Sarah Hanna is a well sought after lecturer on stress management, relationships, anger management, and emotional well-being. She is the author of Raise Your Kids Without Raising Your Voice, The Fear Fix, Make Yourself at Home, and five other books on family life and emotional well-being. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and pass the microphone over to you. Let's get started. How are you, Sarah Hanna? Great, and so pleased to be here today to talk about a subject which affects all of us every day of our lives. It's so important, and I'm really looking forward to the workshop. We're going to talk today about what stress is and, um, and what it does to us, what it feels like, where it comes from. We're going to be talking about... Uh, what people try to do about stress when they're untrained, uh, some of the ineffective things that some of us turn to because we need to do something. Um, but then we're going to look at the most important part, which is how to do effective techniques and strategies that will actually make our lives more joyful, more energetic, more peaceful, no matter what is actually happening in them. So um, what I'm going to do now is I've prepared um, a nice PowerPoint which has the highlighted points for you so we can pause and look at them and think together and talk together about this subject. So you're not going to see me anymore. You're going to see the PowerPoint, but don't worry. Uh, you haven't lost the picture. It's just that the picture will not be here. So um, Jillian and everybody from all over the world, I'm going to now turn us over to these slides and we're going to get started on our, our workshop today. 
Okay, so um, stress, okay. What is it? I think, you know, we all experience stress in our own unique ways, but, you know, we have a favorite channel for it. It goes through our thoughts and it goes through our emotions and it goes through our physical body. So sometimes what we have is a thought process like um, I just can't get it done, I just can't cope, I just, I, I, this isn't going to work and we feel the accompanying distress, the emotional feeling of all of that. But there's really dominantly a negative thought process. Um, but then some of us, you know, uh, may have more dominantly that feeling in our body, the feeling of stress agitation, a physical discomfort, a tightening, um, and that feeling that we're gonna we're about to lose it <laughs> or, or sometimes about to crack up or snap at whoever walks by us and does the next kind of maybe slightly irritating thing. It'll be too much for our vulnerable system which is now feeling physically agitated and physically irritated and stressed. Now another way is just uh, to experience stress through the mood itself where, you know, we're going along in our life and we find ourselves dipping um, into a very low kind of bad space, a bad head space, you know, being in that funk, just, um, you know, people ask you what's wrong and it's like, well, you can't even answer, but you're feeling down and you're feeling awful and that's your version of stress. But for other people, actually, they start getting, um, not down, but they, their anxiety goes up. And when they talk about feeling stress, they mean like they're worrying, they're stressing, they're nervous, again, agitated, but emotionally here. Um, you know, they they just can't turn the, head, the noise off in their head and um, it gets really um, uncomfortable. So I'm going to summarize all this by saying that stress is a really uncomfortable um, feeling or thought or physical sensation or all of that all wrapped up in one. And we actually experience little bits of stress all day long, okay? Because, you know, when we're driving to work or something, you know, we can have that feeling then, but just being in traffic, we can have that feeling when we're putting our clothes on and the outfit doesn't look quite right and we have to keep changing it. We've only got a few minutes to go and it's getting late. We have little stress feelings and we have big stress feelings all throughout the day. So tell me, have you struggled with any um, one or more of these symptoms, like of that kind of irritation? Do you know what I'm talking about? And if you do, can you write yes in the chat box? Let's just take a moment to see if this is, uh, if we're relating to this. Oh, yes, 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 definitely, absolutely. I can relate. Yes, yes, exclamation point. Um, of course, yes, yes, nervous, definitely. Um, yes, when dealing with small children especially. Yes, definitely, absolutely. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes, and yes. And like I said, we, we have... Um, these little amounts of stress and then we have big amounts of stress. Um, we have the daily hassle stress which in the research literature actually um, shows up to um, drain us physically and um, affect us negatively even more in some ways than big life stresses. But let's see where does stress come from? Where are we experiencing? Why is it happening? So um, we see that you know, there can be stress from any aspect of daily life. There can be stress from our relationships. There can be stress from our activities. Um, now, marriage and family life and parenting, that's a huge source of stress for everybody because it's never perfectly smooth there. There are all sorts of arguments. There are issues to be uh, solved. There are challenges. There are huge stresses like um, very serious disappointments or very frightening things that happen in family life. There are betrayals. There are wounds. And all of these um, emotionally charged experiences that we have just living in a family, they cause a lot of our stress, a lot of our stress. But, you know, there's other things too. There's, there's um, 
parenting and learning to become a parent just on the regular, normal, everyday side of that, just learning any new thing actually, starting a new job, um, taking a new course, uh, learning anything new, doing it, going to a place you've never been before. Do you know that any of these things can actually cause stress? Um, and then we get, you know, overwhelmed. That's a version of stress that happens, again, from just getting through our daily life. Too much to do, too little time, uh, unreasonable expectations that we have of ourselves and that others have of us. We have stress from our money issues, our finances are a very big headache that give us a lot of stress. And then there's stress that happens because we're living in a world. Uh, we're living, and right now, a lot of people are so stressed out by the world situation. Um, terrorism, you know, generates these feelings of helplessness and fear and constant stress. Now people are just not comfortable walking down the street, depending on where they're living, um, but almost everybody all over the world knows that we're living in a very unsettled time period and anything could happen, and this is increasing everybody's stress. Um, in back to our own little inner circle, our extended family, we have um, all sorts of things like that going on from not just our spouse and children, but from our in-laws and the difficult dynamics and obligations of extended family life, from our friends or the conflicts we might have with our social obligations, um, regular deadlines, too much to do, not enough time. I'm just, you know, I could go on and on about the things that are um, affecting us, but we see here we have um, also happy things can cause stress. So it's not just the hard things, interestingly, but moving to a new house, renovating the one that we're in, um, shopping, okay? I'm going to say shopping is a very large stress uh, for a lot of people who don't enjoy that activity. Uh, you can see that I'm one among them, I guess. Um, traveling, getting on, you know, a, a plane, a train, getting for a long car ride, that's very stressful. When I say stressful for all these things, I mean that our bodies and minds and feelings are all irritated by these things. Um, changing schools, starting a new school, a new school program, having a deadline at school, writing papers, taking examinations, um, you know, preparing reg regularly for Shabbos. It's not a horrible thing that we have to do. It's a, a privilege and a joy. But that deadline, you know, preparing for holidays, the, you know, just, um, just living life. Can, you know, the normal good things of life really produce quite a lot of stress for us. The joy of becoming pregnant, um, learning uh, childbirth classes, having a baby, uh, coming home with that new baby, normal good blessings are extremely stressful. <laughs> so we shouldn't be upset with ourselves that, you know, we're finding even good things to be challenging, um, to be hard, to be... Um, to push us a little bit out of our comfort zone and that automatically means that we're going to experience stress. So which of these kinds of events stress you out the most? Can you just you know, share that with us in the chat box and tell me when you think of stress, what area of life is causing you the most stress? Um, oh wow, okay, it looks like family, job, finances, marriage, maintaining my house, small children, my husband, family, uh, kids without a doubt, work and loads of it, uh, money, husband out of a job, health issues, social situations, parents, dealing with my ill mother, dealing with a teenager, money, life, marriage uh, to a difficult person, managing a work, job, and a family, health, kids and marriage, relationships, finding a partner, deadlines, postpartum, daily household chores, um, just had a baby, lack of sleep, juggling everything all at once, terrorism and fear of attacks, organizing everything, overwhelmed with parenting, money, Wow. Yeah, it looks like um, we've got a money problems, marriage, children, too much to do and not enough time. I think that probably wraps it all up really yeah, nicely. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's yeah, there's um, all the important areas of life are stressful. That's kind of interesting. Um, but they needn't be as stressful, which is what we're going to, exp you know, start exploring soon. We have to kind of find a way to negotiate um, everything, all of whatever 
we have to deal with. Um, but you're stressed, I'm stressed, we're all stressed by the same kinds of things. You know, we didn't even mention um, illness, sickness in the family, these normal parts of life, life and death. Oh my goodness, there's all sorts of, um, you know, crises that are part of regular life. Um, and not, you know, we're all touched by everything that causes stress. So, um, now I didn't talk, these are coming from outside, these are the things that, you know, God sends to us and that we have to deal with, but the interesting thing is that a lot of stress is coming from the inside. It's generated by internal events. Now we have something called negative self-talk, which is the act of um, talking to ourselves for about things like how hopeless a situation is or how we can't cope and we might not be talking only to ourselves about this, we might talk to other people about it, but the the racket inside of our heads of um, either hopeless talk or anxious talk, you know, what will be, what will be, what will be, kind of wringing our hands all day long, that noise, every actual thought that we have about stress, about the challenge, let's call it this way, the thought that we have about the challenge that we're facing produces stress chemistry. That is the negative thought that we have, right? So if we say like, this problem's never going to go away, I'm never going to get out of this, I can't cope a minute longer, each one of those sentences produces stress chemistry. And it's the chemistry which produces all of those uh, physical sensations, that irritation, that agitation, that sense of being drained, burned out, um, just not having enough energy to live anymore um, because, you know, there's only so much stress chemistry that the body can handle before it starts to break down. So negative talk um, is something, or brooding, um, or we have here something called the inner critic, which is maybe a part of us that that beats us up for, you know, it's your fault that the fight happened, you know, you, or you might talk to yourself like, why did I say this? Why did I do this? Why couldn't I have done whatever? And we call that... Um, that inner challenge to ourselves, the inner critic, which um, you know we're going to look at a little bit more later, um, but it is really almost abusive to us. And each time it challenges us like that or beats us up, again releases more stress chemistry and wears us down till we just really practically cannot stand up anymore. Um, now, I've, there's a thing here. I've got challenging personal inadequacies, and what I mean by that is. Um, we all have our strong points and our weak points. Uh, so with our weak points, the, um, they can cause us stress when we, we have to um, function despite our weak points. Just for example, let's say that there's a, a lovely, creative, artistic woman, um, a little bit right-brained, maybe she has ADHD or you know, maybe she doesn't have a diagnosis, but she's definitely like um, not a scheduled left brain type of person, right? And she's running um, a household with a lot of children, a lot of routines, a lot of demands, different times of carpools, different uh, obligations, uh, maybe a household where she's um, lighting candles on Friday night at a certain time and having guests and so many things are going on. Maybe she has to go out to her job as well and get there on time. Oh my goodness. But her natural artsy kind of more, um, I don't know what you call it, the creative side, doesn't like all those schedules. And that can cause a lot of stress. Um, just like not having a good fit for the life that we're living. That sometimes really causes us a tremendous amount of stress. We can also be born with genetic tendencies towards stress. Okay, So we're all specializing in one of the negative emotions. Some of us um, are naturally irritable or let's say easily irritated. We, we kind of fall into anger when we're feeling stressed. Um, others of us fall into low mood, kind of, you know, when things are not going right. And others of us fall into that or rise into whatever anxiety. We, we specialize in one of the three negative emotions, anger, sadness, and uh, fear. So uh, when we specialize in that, all the different things that happen in life trigger our specialty emotion, and we have to deal with that. 
uh, interestingly, we may also be born with certain kinds of physical sensitivities that lead us to be more reactive to the environment. Some of us cannot stand hearing the way people chew their food. Okay, that's just like a, we're born that way. Um, some of us are irritable, you know, in the presence of certain smells or tastes or kinds of light and so on. And it throws us off and makes us less calm and less comfortable. So all of these things I'm putting in the category of internal events that make us more likely to feel not great. Okay, so like because the feeling of stress is an unpleasant feeling, and the opposite feeling of being calm and in flow and um, happy. So uh, that's the that's where we want to get to. But all of these internal situations lead us away from that. So if you can relate to these internal events, just write me in the chat box right now. Me, me, me. Yes, definitely. Um, internal critic is so hard to get away from. Me, me. Uh, I'm definitely more the anger side. Me, me, me. It looks like these internal events are also absolutely affecting all of us. Yes. <laughs> yes, we're just really describing, you know, if, if we didn't have stress, then everybody would be walking down the street with a huge smile on their face and life is all good. And we don't see that. I don't know if you sit on a bus or a subway or wherever you see people in large gatherings. You don't see them all smiling. Okay? Uh, you know, everybody has a load of stress that they are carrying. So now, the internal and external vulnerabilities or challenges that are put to us can be managed, but when we don't manage them and our life gets out of balance, then our emotions get more intense. So yes, we may all have a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of anger, and a little bit of low mood, but when stress gets out of balance, then we may now dissolve into an extreme amount of anger, a lot of worrying and ruminating, and um, just can't turn that racket off. Uh, that in terms of anxiety or we're just blowing up at everybody yelling at a spouse and kids and just being totally unpleasant even um, even with ourselves and um, and then the little low mood that was brewing becomes like a major um, just like I said burnout or collapse like a just a an unmanageable kind of sadness that we're living with and that's those signs are actually signals to us that something is very wrong and needs attention. You know, we're, we've been given emotions as signals and we want to pay attention to them because if you don't pay attention to the early signs, then unfortunately things deteriorate. So when we don't manage stress well, we've got these first emotions, but then we're going to get real um, consequences, mental, emotional, physical, spiritual exhaustion and burnout to the point of deterioration of the quality of our life where we just say, I'm not coping. And at that point, a lot of us will go visit a doctor and, um, you know, it, we'll just um, ask, tell the doctor we're not coping, we're not doing well, we just can't uh, manage anymore. And if we did have any pre-existing mental health conditions or anything, we might now find ourselves having an episode of something, an episode of major depression or an anxiety crisis or what we might call to ourselves a nervous breakdown, a nervous collapse where that's it. We just, you know, if you leave stress long enough, it actually goes all the way to the point where we really cannot cope. And then we might experience um, an inability to function, you know, to, to do what we're supposed to do at home, to do what we're supposed to do at work, to take care of our family, um, to carry on our relationships in a proper way, to handle our responsibilities. We may become, you know, violent. Um, sometimes, you know, we see, well, actually, there's a statistic that shows that when people are out of jobs, they're, they become very, very stressed because, of course, the money issues are piling and um, marital violence really increases quite a lot when there are two types of stresses, interestingly, the stress of pregnancy and the stress of uh, financial pressures that are um, hard to manage. So then that leads to aggression where people are just losing control of themselves and um, 
it doesn't have to be that way at all. But if we don't know how to manage stress, it can go that way. And then, of course, eventually our body breaks down. Okay, there's only so much the body can take, and we'll start off with, um, you know, headaches and stomach aches and back aches. And if we keep going, well, the medical and psychological research shows that stress is implicated, unfortunately, in almost every um, life-threatening disease. Okay, so that, and even the Tomla tells us that the, you know, an excess of too much negative emotion leads to a shortened life and we can you know, understand that intuitively that the body breaks down from all of that stress chemistry and that is the natural consequence of unmanaged stress. So I don't know if you've ever felt like you've come close to um, you know strong, well you've experienced strong emotions or you've really had um, almost come to the edge with stress just let's see, just join us in the chat box and just write, yes, I've, I've been there. I've been close to the edge. Uh, yes, yes, I've been there, absolutely. Yes, I've been there. I've been almost pushed over the edge, very much so. Yes, yes, I've been close. I think I've fallen off the edge. Yes, especially with anger and aggression. Uh, yes, I've been there. I've been there. I am there. I'm there all the time. Um, I've been there. I'm on the edge. Yep. Bar Hashem, <laughs> yeah. not close to collapse, yeah. but I'm, yeah. yeah, I have very negative stress. Yes, constantly. Yeah. Mm hmm. You see, it, it's not rare. It's just part of the natural consequences of not having effective enough stress management techniques. This is this is what's going to happen to all of us and everybody has come close to the edge. Everybody has stood right near the edge and you know it can get um, desperate for us. So um, now here are things that people do to try when they feel things falling apart. There are things that people try to do to help themselves. Um, you know a lot of times we'll try self-medication and that might include any of our addictive behaviors or dysfunctional behaviors that relieve stress for us. And there's an amazing array of these kinds of um, attempts to um, numb the pain, I would say, and calm our nerves. Uh, we might start off, I don't have it here, but you know, we might start off with some nice things like some um, herbal remedies and stuff, but if we find that that doesn't work, then um, we fall into overusing over-the-counter medications. A lot of people who are not sleeping well, for example, will get into the habit of using a nightly relief um, that they buy at the drugstore for insomnia and um, often discover that after a while that relief isn't there anymore and in fact the medication itself causes insomnia or side effects or higher anxiety. And, you know, we start off you know, trying to help ourselves with things like that, but that's not uh, that's not really a stress solution, as we'll see as we go along. Sometimes we find that a little bit of wine, uh, and then again, you know, we, a little bit of a good thing seems to work, and then we end up taking a little bit too much, and we can fall into addictions, um, you know, innocently because we found that at first it just took the edge off, and then we need more and more to take that same edge off until you know alcohol becomes a problem. Um, even activities like shopping, um, which gives us a little bit of a high and a little bit of relief, it's okay in small doses, you know, <laughs> but um, there are people who are shopping addicts um, who spend money in order to lift their mood and when we do it for that purpose, we sometimes go out of control uh, and we can go out of control with anything. I have here reading novels, you know, so instead of doing the work we're supposed to do, clean the house or make the dinner or um, do the assignment that we have for school or do the, um, the work that we're supposed to do even at the office or get there on time, we end up doing things that are not, <laughs> not our responsibilities but they soothe our nerves. Um, and then there's various compulsions that we may be having a, a bit of a genetic tendency to but those compulsions, uh, it's not that they relieve, they, they have a bit of a relief of stress. Of course, they don't get us very far, but a lot of us are skin pickers, nail biters, and so on. Um, when stress is very intense, teenagers actually find a lot of these things, and they, they will do more of these um, attempts to manage stress if their parents don't teach them how to manage stress properly, uh, which is really the whole point of the book I wrote called The Fear Fix, which gives parents tools 
for themselves and for their children so that children will know that there are healthy things you can do to manage stress because teenagers are notorious for finding things like drugs and alcohol and even self-harm which releases um, some numbing and uh, elevating chemistry and then the person gets into a very destructive habit eating disorders under eating overeating all of this in order to manage our stress and obviously none of this makes us feel very good in the end um, and then we let you know try to let our stress out through yelling and stomping around and ripping things up and throwing things across the room and you know for the moment um, it lets out a little bit of stress and then obviously um, it's going to really create more stress than than it's worth because it's going to destroy destroy all our support systems um, but also interestingly when we try to release stress through yelling it out um, or any form of physical aggression it sends more stress chemistry through our body and um, it's not releasing the stress it's actually building the stress and there was some research done so many years ago on um, very stressed out Japanese workers and they put punching bags in their offices because they found that a lot of these people were um, keeling over with heart attacks due to the work stress and the the unrelenting demands of their lives and they thought that if they had a chance to just punch out some of that stress during their lunch break or something that they would do a lot better and what they found interestingly was that the that group that had the punching bags actually did far worse and it makes sense when we understand that punching <laughs> throws stress chemistry it's like putting logs on a fire it just sends a ton of stress chemistry cursing through your body so no we don't want to release stress like that and the same thing here for venting complaining and crying we think maybe we're letting something out but actually we are circulating stress and it's really um, more harmful than positive um, now medication to a certain extent is um, one of the tools that can be used in some cases but when we don't use medication which takes maybe the edge off of stress sometimes for some people um, but when we don't combine that with actual stress management techniques then medication is not going to do the trick and that's what's been found in the again the medical medical and psychological literature medication is not enough we can't just go to our doctor and say you know I'm I'm cracking up, I can't cope anymore, I need something. And the doctor says, you know, writes out the prescription, here you go. All right, that's a that might be a starting point, but that is not enough. We have to change the um, the conditions inside of ourselves that allow stress to get out of control. And when we do, we can usually successfully go down on the medication, sometimes go off the medication, and so on. Well, if all that stuff doesn't work very well, then let's start looking at what uh, what might work and to begin that I want you to do a little self-test here give yourself a score between one on five where five is very very true um, and one is this is not this is not true at all for me for each of these ten factors which we'll discuss after just just you know grab your pencil and quickly the first number that pops into your mind just write it down um, from one to five you are enjoying your life as it is currently configured that is just your daily life now just give yourself a number number two you're feeling that you're doing something important or meaningful meaningful or valuable between one and five how true is that for you number three you have enough energy now to do the things you want to do how true is that between one and five? Yeah, sometimes, you know, it's lack of sleep because we have babies, but lack of sleep does stress the system, so we're, we're going to say that it doesn't always have to come from an emotional source that we don't have energy. Just be honest and write down what you think your rating is for the energy you, you have. Number four, you are feeling connected to and supported by Hashem, a sense of strong spirituality. Um, you don't feel alone. You feel helped along in your life's journey, guided somehow. Number five, you are maintaining a circle of relationships and connecting regularly. Number six, 
Number six, you are eating well. Number seven, you are sleeping well. Number eight, you are exercising regularly. Number nine, you are engaging in relaxation and some kind of downtime or a time for creativity. You have like a hobby or something that you engage in that you look forward to. Number 10, you allow time for introspection and meditation, prayer, and or counseling, which helps you to kind of meet and greet yourself. Now, you've answered 10 questions there, so you're going to get a score out of uh, 50, right? Which will give you an idea of where you're holding right now on something that we call lifestyle management. Now, lifestyle management is one of the factors that helps us prevent a buildup of stress. Because when it comes to stress management, we have three tasks. We want to prevent stress, release stress, or relieve it, and transform stress. Prevent it, relieve it if we didn't manage to prevent it, and transform it so that it doesn't come back again, that it's really deeply out of our system. So the first step is preventing it, and one of the ways that we can prevent it is to have a high score, let's say 40 or 45 out of 50 points on that test that we just did, because if you are laughing regularly with your friends, if you're exercising, if you're eating well, if you're sleeping, then no matter how difficult the things are in your life, for example, you're dealing with an illness of your own or an illness of a parent or a spouse or a child, heaven forbid, um, or you're dealing with uh, financial problems or you know conflict in marriage, no matter actually what you're dealing with, you will deal with it better if you are living a balanced life that includes some time for sleep and some good food and some exercise and so on. Um, it's not like we want to dedicate our entire day to being stressed, okay, which is one of the big stress management um, uh, ineffectual things that we tend to do. In other words, we get up in the morning, we start stressing and we continue stressing all day and we neglect our lives. So, you know, if we're going to start effectively managing our stress right away, the first thing to do is to create a sort of life balance by having some sort of loose schedule that includes these 10 factors that we looked at. Um, enjoying our life as it's currently configured is somewhat up to us by configuring our life in a certain way. Now we have jobs that we may not like and they may take up eight hours a day, but that means that we're not allowed to enjoy any private time in our life. We have to make that time for ourselves. Some people, in order to make the schedule, will say, okay, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm going to exercise in the morning, or um, you know, Tuesday, I'm going to go out for lunch with my friends. Wednesday, I'm taking uh, a course on um, art or you know, knitting or something, and whatever. We're you know, like people will actually make it happen by putting it on their schedule. And for left brain people, that's probably the way they'll do it. And then the right brain people will just say, well, I, you know, I don't like schedules. That having a schedule stresses me out. So if a, having a schedule stresses you out, don't use a schedule, okay? Be, do it your way, but look at those factors and see what do you need to improve there. Because if you don't give yourself a break and have some downtime, if you don't fire up your mood with some creativity, if you don't sit down with yourself, and tune in to what you need, then eventually you will be overrun with stress. So you, you, you want to do something about this. Um, now, we may also try to eliminate some of the things that we don't really need to do. And here we might have to learn to work with our inner critic, which is, you know, we're going to look in detail in the upcoming um, uh, five-week course on how to do all these things. I, I'm sort of saying here what we need to do. But there may be reasons why we find it hard to um, not bake everything from scratch, for example, even though by the end of it we're screaming at everybody. <laughs> um, you know, we, we have an inner dialogue process that kind of gets in our way sometimes, so um, we may need approval, we're seeking approval. We're, we're complicated human beings, and um, we have parts of our personality that work against other parts, and in the end, that inner battle um, not only creates stress, but also leads us into bad choices. So we're going to look at what to do about that when we, we have more time. 
But for now, I'm just going to say, look, if you can figure it out, buy dessert rather than make it. If you're having a busy week, okay, like take whatever you can off of your schedule to lighten your stress. And if there's things you must do, do the simple kind and take care of yourself. Taking care of yourself means that you're going to take better care of your relationships that are so important to you. You come first. So if they're not going to get, you know, the four course meal or whatever it is, well, that's too bad. You know, like if, if you're, you know, like do what you need to do um, to get through your day in a more sane and happy way because your mood affects your entire household and everybody that you come in contact with. It's not just you that you're affecting. And one of the main things that we can do is become aware of our stress and how it feels. Notice that our thoughts are starting to degenerate or go around in endless circles. Notice that our mood is dropping or our anxiety is rising. Um, notice that we're feeling irritable on the physical level, or that our head is hurting, our neck is tight, our shoulders are tight. And when you notice, use a quick stre stress buster, as I'm calling it here. Now, I've, I've mentioned two just to get us started, and one is uh, a breath. It's called a, a five to five breath, I'm calling it here. Um, and we'll look at that one first, and then we have the thought pivots. Now, I just want to mention about anything we ever do with breath, because I know a lot of people say, oh, breathing, you know, breathing doesn't work for me, which is kind of funny, but because we breathe all day, it doesn't work for you, you're alive, but um, what they mean when they say that is that um, I don't find that I get relaxed from breathing. Now, if we're very stressed, we're not going to get relaxed from breathing. And in fact, this um, particular breath that I'd like to introduce you to um, does not require us to, um, to get relaxed. We don't want to get relaxed. We just want to be a better version of ourselves. We want to be calmer while we're alert. We want to be calm while we have to function. So this breath gives us a particular state which is called calm alert and allows us to be smarter, more efficient, um, you know, it's a state that we can function better at our job and function better at home and work out problems better because we're more uh, sane and we've turned off the overwhelming emotion that stress brings. So this breath can be done as part of our overall stress reduction that we might use. Um, for example, you know, well, okay, we'll get into that in a minute, but I'll just say it here that for the, the, the way this breath works is that we breathe in for the same number of sec seconds as we breathe out, and I've said five here, but if you have, if you're short of breath, it could be four and four. If you're very short of breath, it could be three and three. And as we do this, our breath tends to get a little stronger, so eventually it will be five to five or even six to six is fine. Um, and if you have a great lungs, seven to seven is fine. So let's say six seconds in, and six seconds out with no pauses. There's a formal name for this breath. Uh, you can read about it in Dr. Richard Brown's book called The Healing Power of the Breath. Um, you can read more about it in my book, The Fear Fix, also. Um, but it's called the coherent breath. And what this breath does is it regulates the entire nervous system. It settles the heart and it in, improves a measure that's called heart rate variability, which has to do with emotional centering, emotional balance, and emotional calmness. When you use this breath, it's a mechanical way to reset all the stress in your body. It's like taking a chill pill. And what you can do throughout the day, as you notice you've just felt stressed, okay? Let's say you were rushing in the morning to get out the door, and you notice that you felt stressed, you can do 30 to 60 seconds of this breath and reset your body. Because what we do when we're not managing stress is we feel that rush in the morning, and let's say we get 10 points of stress for that. We have bad traffic on the way to work, we get 10 more points for that. We walk in and there's a pile of stuff on our desk that is overwhelming to look at. We get 10 more points for that. We go through the day and we build up and build up and build up. At the end of the day, we have a terrible headache. Our body is just worn down by all of this. We're just coming home for dinner. <laughs> okay, we're going to enter a war scene there with all the children fighting or whatever. Um, we, you know, by the end of the day, we've got 100 points of stress. Now, if we get a little smarter here, what we can do is build up the first 10 and let it out with 60 seconds of breathing into a count of five and out to a count of five. Breathe, get a little bit more stress. Notice that our neck is getting a little tight. Notice how it feels. Breathe in for another 60 seconds. And as we do this as a lifestyle practice, 
the body uses it more and more efficiently. We get better and better results from it. Now the other thing that we can do when we're noticing negative thoughts, you know, we're, we're walking through the parking lot, we're, whatever, our mind is filled with stressful, anxious thoughts about our situation, um, or we're ruminating about something, is we're going to do a thought pivot, which is get out of that thought and move immediately to a better thought. And when I say a better thought, some thoughts also affect our heart rate variability and our nervous system. Specifically, thoughts of love or gratitude. Now, gratitude might be easier because if you're outside and walking and just look up at the sky, it can be, wow, thank you, God, for that beautiful cloud. That's beautiful. Or if you're looking down at your feet and you see pavement, wow, thank you for pavement. It's making my walk easier and so on. Now, you can get um, used to giving gratitude such that... Um, your whole body is filled with the joy of gratitude. This you have to experience. Again, it builds up over time. But immediately, it's a much better thought for your nervous system, keeping in mind that each thought produces a chemical package. A thought of gratitude gives you good chemistry that renews your body and your mind and refreshes your entire system, whereas a negative thought does the exact opposite. Now, you might have had a fight in the morning before you left the house, on the phone with somebody or in person with somebody in your house, and that was a bad moment. Let's say it knocked you down by 10. But as you get in the car or walk or go wherever you're going or now you're alone and you replay that thought, you're giving yourself 10 more negative stress points and you keep replaying it, 10 more. And you keep replaying it, 10 more. Not that you're solving it or making anything better. You're simply replaying it, maybe even, you know, aggravating yourself with it. Um, and so you're building up tremendous stress. When you notice that, use a thought pivot to get out of it and book an appointment with yourself to actually deal with the issue later. So effective stress management means giving yourself an appointment to address your issues. Um, you're going to do that once a day, maybe 10, 15, or 20 minutes with you being your own therapist where if that fight in the morning was important, you want to avoid it later, uh, like in the future, then sit down and do some problem-solving techniques with yourself. Um, you're going to maybe, uh, you could do problem-solving, or you can do emotional release, or you can do calming your body. Each of these three stress-relieving stress techniques are important. If there's a reason you're having the fights, or you want to find out what the reason is, maybe you're going to spend those 10 or 15 minutes asking yourself what went wrong, <laughs> and making a plan to avoid that in the future. Maybe it's a particular child that you keep having a problem with in the morning getting out of bed or getting out the door on time. So think about it and use your 10 or 15 minutes to problem solve. Well, let's say you've done all the problem solving in the world and the problem um, is now in a state where you can't do anymore. For example, you know you need more money, so you spend a week or two you know, on your 10 or 15 minutes, you're thinking of courses to take, training to take, how to organize that in your life. Um, or you send out, you know, who to send out resumes to, how to look for a job, and you do all the practical things, and now you're just waiting, and you're feeling stressed from the waiting. So you won't use the 10 or 15 minutes for problem solving anymore. Now you might use it for addressing the negative thoughts and feelings that you have and relieving them, not all day long by ruminating, but in your 10 or 15 minute appointment time that you gave yourself. And another thing that you might do, let's say after you've done all that, maybe you just have stress in your body. It's not because you're worrying, it's not because you're ruminating, it's just that you're all keyed up from your life and you need to relax. So during that 10 or 15 minutes, you might address the deep physical stress that you have in your body through deep relaxation techniques, deep um, techniques that remove the stress at the physical level. And that's my, that might be what you want to do during those 10 or 15 minutes, or 20 or 30, because it really, really feels great when you do that. <laughs> um, and we're going to explore all of that stuff in our course, so you'll know how to do any of it. Um, during the daytime, we want to steer ourselves to positive thoughts and feelings and put our problem in a box. We can do this literally by writing down the issues that we have in our life, each issue on a separate uh, piece of paper. Put those papers in a shoebox, you know, I want to work on my parenting problem with that kid, I want to work on the, the conflict I have with my spouse, I want to work on what's going wrong at my office. All these things, put them on a paper, put them in a shoebox, and shut the box. 
when it comes to your appointment time with yourself in the evening, take out one of those papers and work on it. That's, you know, during the rest of the day, you have a right to be happy. <laughs> you have a right to laugh with your friends and, and to pay attention to all those lifestyle factors that we talked about. You have a right to have fun and to pursue calm and um, happy, meaningful, positive activities. Worrying and stressing all day does nothing but destroy us. So we want to develop a new way of carrying ourselves through life, even though we all have really serious issues to deal with all the time and at every stage of life. So we have enough there to get started, and I hope that you will explore even more because I've got some amazing techniques that will go deep into what causes our stress on the inside and helps us really get rid of it so that our life really feels joyful the way it should feel. And we want to use that joy as a barometer of how well we're doing. Okay, Joy is that state of flow. We have energy for the day. We're looking forward to our day. Our life feels great. And stress is that you know way of being all tied up in knots and just oh, just not getting anywhere, feeling awful and not enjoying our lives at all. We want to keep doing that stress test regularly to make sure that our lifestyle is helping us prevent a buildup of stress. And we want to pay closer attention to the way we're feeling inside, to ask ourselves gently and compassionately, how are you doing today? You know, And just listen to yourself answer. We want to identify where our stresses are coming from and address them on a practical level, and then learn techniques for turning off cognitive you know, negativity, our thoughts that promise us, that's not promise us, <laughs> our thoughts that overwhelm us, and the emotions that are floating through our system. And again, um, I have a lot of that in the fear fix, which can help us, um, but the horse is really you know, where we're going to learn a lot of practical techniques. And we want to learn those techniques for calming and strengthening our nervous system to make ourselves more stress-proof so that no matter what we have to deal with in life, and we know that life is hard, that we will be able to deal with it and still feel joy and energy and positivity while we are dealing with the real problems that we must face. So Jillian and, uh, and everybody, that's all that we're going to talk about today, but I'm interested in your reactions and um, thoughts and questions. and. And that's it. I hope you've learned quite a lot. Give me a big now in the chat box if you're ready to take back control of your life and continue to get some proven strategies and solutions to manage your stress. If you're interested in going further with this, give me a big now. Oh my goodness. Now, now, now. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much. Now, now. I am ready now. And um, we've got a lot of questions. When is this course? So perfect timing. I am going to let you know all about it. We are inviting you to take the full journey together with Sarah Khanna for a full series of uplifting workshops with practical tools, techniques, and examples. We'll be delving deeper into the key tools for successful stress management. And all of those classes are going to include Number one, use your brain to calm your mind. So learn how to rewire your brain to be more stress resistant and to handle life's pressures with greater ease and calm. Class two is unifying the divided brain. Access your subconscious mind in order to achieve deep and lasting stress relief using mind-body techniques like EFT and TAT and bilateral tapping. Um, bringing all your parts to the table, Help your stressed out parts by addressing their needs and utilizing formerly unrecognized inner resources. Discover the real you and your own powers of renewal and healing. Uh, class four is a sea of calm. Give, give your mind and body the break they really need. Learn deep methods of refreshment and renewal drawing on evidence-based strategies proven to reduce stress and stress-related mental and physical illness. And finally, the genie in the bottle. Learn how to help yourself and every member of your family using Bach flower therapy to both treat and prevent emotional stress of every kind. And what's so special about this course offering is that you will get immediate access to all five classes when you sign up. For your convenience, they will also be available as downloadable versions, which gives you access anytime and anywhere. This means you will literally have all the tools for productively and successfully managing stress at your fingertips.
So many people share that their schedules are packed, so now you don't have to attend on a certain day at any given time. We certainly don't want to add any more stress to your life. You will have 24-6 access to every class to listen to, take notes, print out the tools, all at a time that's comfortable for you. Um, so Sarah Khan, can you actually just give us a little preview or a sneak peek into what this series is really going to include? <laughs> um, you know, we, well, okay, we're looking at techniques that will change our mindset permanently so that we're not, um, actual techniques, it's very technique oriented, okay, and today I've kind of um, talked in a general way about it, but you will come away knowing how to do it, okay, so um, your brain will change, let's put it that way, and um, through learning and practicing, I mean, I'm going to give you things to do, and to the extent that you do it, um, you'll get better and better. It's not, um, some of these things will appeal to you more than others, and there's a wide a range of, of things that you're going to be learning. If you take even one or two out of all the different things you learn over those five weeks, those one or two will make a huge difference to your life going forward. So I'm not assuming that all of them will fit all of you equally well. It's just that we're going to, I'm going to expose you to all of them, and you'll find your favorites. I myself actually use all of them, <laughs> like, and and I think they work very effectively. I, I think they're, you know, like I feel, you know, the benefit of them, and that's why I love sharing them. So they are, you know, like if we look at. Um, the first class is going to be, you know, a lot on the cognitive kind of side of it because we drive ourselves crazy with our, our noisy brains. Uh, that racket in our head is, is so responsible for so much of our stress and we're going to learn how to get rid of that racket in the head. Um, so, you know, how to make it a more pleasant environment to be in, <laughs> to be in our own head all day. Um, and then the subconscious mind, that's kind of the parts of us that we don't hear but um, that are acting on us all the time, and we want to meet those parts uh, to relieve uh, what they're doing. It's kind of like we have an, a whole, uh, well, we see that the inner parts there also, the next section, we have a whole life going on behind the scenes, and the more we know about that life, the more we can help ourselves, um, really help ourselves. So we're going to learn techniques for addressing our inner family, so to speak, so that um, each part of us is calm. Not just the, you know, we can feel as we're going through the day uh, as if everything's okay, but we don't understand why our heart is beating rapidly, you know, but if the heart is beating rapidly, that's because there's a part of us that is feeling fearful or stressed. Um, we can go through our whole day feeling fine, but then we toss and turn at night, and we don't know why we're tossing and turning at night, you know, like there's so much of our, ourselves that is behind um, a door. When we're going to learn in this course how to open that door and get to know ourselves fully, so that we can help all those parts and not just shut them all up with various pills and you know things like that. Like even you know the fifth class there, the genie in the bottle. Um, you know when we use the remedy method, we are not shutting anything up. We're actually opening the door and letting stress out. And I'll, I'll explain that in detail. Great, thank you so much. Um, I want to let you know by joining now, you'll also get um, this fantastic bonus, an entire seven-part series on um, From Trauma to Healing, Practical Tools to Heal Emotional Scars from the Past and Rejuvenate Your Soul. And that's going to be available immediately as a downloadable MP3 seven-part series. Plus, over Overcoming Depression and Uncovering Happiness, a five-part series, Discovering the Best Path for Your Individual Journey to Overcoming Disappointment, Sadness, and Feelings of Hopelessness, and Uncover Your Unique Potential, Self-Worth, and Strength. Plus, <clears throat> Freeing Your Child from Anxiety, A Parent's Guide for Practical and Powerful Solutions to Help Children Overcome Their Anxieties, Fears, and Worries, and finally, an extra seat in the course for a family member or friend. So as you can see, this is an invaluable package, but what you'll gain most importantly are the tools to build up an immunity to outside pressure and allow your inner light and energy to emerge. Escape the burden of stress and the frantic rat race of life and start living a productive, meaningful, and love-filled life. Turn off internal negativity, calm your nervous system, and finally become stress-proof. Avoid mental, emotional, and physical burnout by eliminating unnecessary tasks, creating a balanced and joy 
joyous life. Stop robbing yourself of joy and spontaneity and turn stress into strength. And finally, let go of daily irritations, frustrations, and pain and embrace the serenity, peace, and calm. An opportunity like this really doesn't come along often, so we want to make this important course accessible to everyone. <clears throat> So you can either choose to become a basic member this um, today and get the five-part series on how to overcome stress and create the life you want with Sarah Hanna Radcliffe, or you can become a platinum member and get the course plus From Trauma to Healing, that seven-part series, uh, another workshop on overcoming depression, freeing your child from anxiety ebook, and an extra seat in the course for a family member or friend. So like I said, you won't only be joining a community of people from around the world who are all trying to fight this battle together, but you'll actually also be able to do that in, um, with a loved one um, right there by your side. So let me go ahead and share the link with you now. I see a lot of people are eager to join and eager to get their spots. I'm going to go actually and put it right into your chat box. It's www.jewishworkshops.com forward slash stress. And it's right there in your chat box as well. So you can go ahead and click on the link and it will take you right to the page so that you can see um, the options again. You can become a basic member or a platinum member as you sign up. And when you do sign up, please just come back right to the chat box and let me know um, your first name and just put the words I'm in so that I can welcome you and see how many spots we uh, have filled already. We love to see all of our new members of our community. So please just come right back and put your name and the words I'm in. And if you're having any technical difficulties, um, if for some reason a lot of times, you know, traffic to the website is so... Um, uh, so much right away. So if you're having any technical difficulties signing up and it just won't let you, please just come back and put your name and telephone number in. Uh, we'd be happy to help you out. I don't want you to miss out on this opportunity, but I do have um, plenty of <clears throat> customer service representatives here who are ready to assist at any time. Um, so please just let me know if you are having some trouble. Um, so I see that people are already starting to join. Wow, that's really quick. Um, like I said, if you can go ahead and just put your name and, um, and the words I'm in, I'd be happy to welcome you, and that would be wonderful. Um, we will get to some questions in a little bit, and I do want to actually get to... <clears throat> sorry. I mentioned that as soon as you sign up, you will start receiving the courses immediately so that you have access anytime and anywhere. For your convenience, they will also be available as downloadable versions, which gives you access on any type of device that you choose. This means you will literally have all the tools for productively and successfully managing stress at your fingertips. So remember, you don't have to make a schedule into your calendar. You don't have to attend at a certain time on a certain day. You will have 24 or 6 access to every class to listen to and take notes all at a time that's comfortable for you. Um, so let me go ahead and welcome some of our brand new members. <clears throat> welcome to Hani. I'm so glad to see that you're in. Welcome Sherry. Wonderful to see you as well. Welcome Debbie. Tamar, welcome, and Roger, great. I'm so glad that you are um, that you've joined, and welcome, Shira. I'm glad <laughs> just saw you pop in here. So um, as you continue to sign up, come back and let me know. And if you're having any difficulties, please just go ahead and put your name and telephone number in. Um, Serhana, I wanted to get to um, someone had actually just asked a question. Can you just tell us what a little bit? What is um, the Bach flower therapy? What is that about? <laughs> um, you know, this is, I, I consider this a, a gift to us from Hashem. It's, you know, there's in the natural world, there are many things that can help our nervous system, our mind and our body and our thoughts and our feelings. And, and those of you who have ever contacted a naturopath know that there are different kinds of things for that are made from plants and minerals and so on. Um, there's something called homeopathic medicine, which is its own branch of medicine that uses, um, you know, natural um, things like plants, and minerals, and animals. What? Not animals. Sorry, plants and whatever um, flowers. This kind of thing, um, and they're prepared in a certain way. Um, but this Bach flower stuff is not homeopathic. It's its own uh, special remedy. It, the Bach flower stuff is also not a herb. 
uh, though herbs have their own healing properties very strongly um, associated with bodily healing. So herbs are a natural and wonderful way of uh, healing all sorts of things and can help a little bit on the emotional level as well. But um, Bach flowers are designed to help completely on the emotional level. They're really, though interestingly, Dr. Edward Bach, B-A-C-H, was a medical doctor. He's an, he was an internist. He died many years ago, 1936, um, and had developed these remedies in order to help people not get sick because he understood that the mind-body unit worked together. We, we all agree with that today, but he was kind of radical in his time. And he felt that, guess what, stress makes you sick. So he wanted to take the stress off of people's systems. And he was, um, he was like a, a sensitive, if you call it, or a, a medical intuit. Uh, these were words that I actually didn't relate to very well for a long time in my life because I just didn't get it. And uh, although the Bach flowers have been around for almost 100 years, I personally thought they were kind of a wacky intervention. I understood um, that you know herbs could work in, in potions of tea and so on. I even understood homeopathic medicine worked. Even essential oils, which are also amazing. Essential oils are a wonderful... Um, calming tool, which we'll look at a little bit as we go along in our course, but um, Bach flowers are unique among all of these things in that they address emotions totally and specifically. All the different emotional states, irritability, depression, confusion, loneliness, heartache, um, panic, fear, every negative emotion, and what they do is they uh, relieve the emotion. Now I'm going to explain that in detail in the session that we're going to have, what really happens with Bach flowers, but I'll just say that um, this particular remedy does not have negative side effects. It's friendly for children, it's great for pregnant women, it's harmless, it's inexpensive, it's a uh, you know, found at every health food store around the world. It's like on, on, on Amazon.com, you know, like they've been around for a long time, but interestingly, a lot of people don't know about them. Uh, although a lot of people know about one of them, which is called Rescue Remedy. You know, I, I bet if we say in the chat box, you know, say yes, if you've heard of Rescue Remedy, we'll get a bunch of, uh, we'll get a bunch of people saying yes to that because what people don't realize is that Rescue Remedy is part of this larger system that actually addresses everything. But Rescue Remedy itself is an amazing stress relief for shock and um, you know panic situations. I'll explain it all, but um, not only do the Bach flowers relieve it in the moment, but they actually do something which a lot of the techniques uh, that we're going to learn do also, something that we call epigenetic healing, which means that we can turn genes that we're born with on and off. So instead of, like we may have been born, uh, inherited, let's say, anxiety from all the parents and grandparents and great-grandparents in our family who have had anxious natures, and then we inherit that and everything, you know, we worry about all sorts of things and that's why we're stressed a lot of the time. But even though we've inherited that gene, we can turn those genes off by doing the right things. And um, Bach flower remedies is actually one of the things that will help us do that. So, you know, if you're really curious about how that works, uh, you know, please join us and, and, you know, you'll learn some amazing things. Great. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, and I hope that that answered the question that came in. Um, in answer to Tammy, your question, let me get back to the bonuses um, so that you can take a look at those. I know, sorry if I rushed through them a little bit. I tend to get overexcited about some of these offerings because uh, they really are so incredible. Um, not only will you be able to enjoy the entire five-part series of our stress management, but you will also get from Trauma to Healing a seven-part series of practical tools to heal emotional scars from the past and rejuvenate your soul. And again, those are also downloadable, so you can listen to those at your convenience. You can review them, take notes and go through that when it's um, a good time for you. Plus, another five-part series um, on overcoming depression and uncovering happiness, a full workshop on discovering the best path for your individual journey to overcoming disappointment, sadness, and feelings of hopelessness, and uncover your unique potential, self-worth, and strength. And again, those are downloadable so that you can listen to them um, at your convenience. 
plus I saw that I would say probably about 75% to 80% of everyone who was uh, putting in what was probably one of the most stressful parts of their life was balancing family and children and um, dealing with how to uh, you know, help your kids and your family also have that stress-free life. So we've put together um, an incredible uh, ebook for you with Sarah Hanna's um, best techniques, and that's freeing your child from anxiety: a parent's guide for practical and powerful solutions to help children overcome their anxieties, fears, and worries. And a lot of the techniques will also help you as well. Um, and finally, an extra seat in the course for a family member or friend. So again, they, uh, that family member or friend, and I saw, I'm sorry that this question just came in from Lewis, um, your family member or friend who joins alongside with you also gets the five-part series plus the additional bonuses. So um, they are, except for the extra friend, because they're yours, <laughs> but um, they get the, uh, from trauma to healing, they get uncover, uh, overcoming depression, and they get the anxiety ebook as well. So um, it's absolutely incredible. I have to go ahead and I'm going to go put that link right back into the chat box again to make it easier for you. It is uh, jewishworkshops.com forward slash stress. I would love to again, oh, welcome another Shira, welcome, and sorry, where did this just go? Welcome to Devorah, it's great, I'm glad that you're in as well. Um, let me make sure I'm not missing any of these questions. Much. Excellent, welcome to Pora, so glad to have you here. This is great. Um, I'm going to... Um, so, in answer to your question, Darlene, um, the bonus packages of Trauma to Healing and Overcoming Depression are actually going to be available to you in your membership area immediately. So, you will get the five-part series on stress management and those bonus classes, the bonus workshops, and your ebook will all be available to you in your personal membership area. So, you can go ahead and download those or listen to those at your convenience. Okay, and Sarah, the price, so I'm sorry, let me go ahead and get there. Um, the basic membership is 197 and the platinum membership is 297 and like I said, that platinum membership includes this five-part series plus the, all of the additional bonuses. If you um, need some help and you are looking for a payment plan or um, need help with anything like that, please just put your name and your telephone number right here into the chat box. We will do our best to work with you again at, um, at the best, in the best way that we can. We don't want you to miss out. So please just go ahead and put your name and your telephone number in. We would love to be able to um, do anything that we can to help. Welcome, Bryna. So nice to have you here. Welcome, Sarah. Great to see that you're in. Welcome, Steve. Wonderful. Glad to have you. Okay, let me go ahead and see if there's any other questions. Otherwise, we will continue on. I actually, um, I have to say, we had um, a few people who had learned with um, Sarah Khanna in the past and really wanted to be able to join us live but weren't able to attend. But they sent in um, just really short little messages, so I wanted to go ahead and play those for you. Um, I thought that was just a, it's really touching. Um, so let me go ahead. This one's actually from Roseanne. She just wanted to say a couple quick words right here. My name is Rosanna, and I've been learning with Sarah Hanna for almost a decade and looking forward to many more because her classes have changed my life. So nice. Thank you so much, Rosanna. And Phyllis had also sent in... Um, a really enthusiastic uh, testimonial. She also couldn't come live, but wanted to just give a few words of excitement. I love Sarah Hanna Radcliffe's classes. My whole life has been enhanced because of them. I've been coming for many, many years, and my relationships are better. I'm a much calmer, happier person, and I love her. <laughs> 
Thank you so, <laughs> thank you so much for sharing that as well. Um, if we have any other uh, previous members on the line, we'd love to see any of your comments. We love hearing from you. Um, I absolutely look forward to all of our newest members uh, sharing their experiences as well. Um, honestly, what is so important and so different about what we're doing here is that we're building a community online and you can stay anonymous if you wish to, but you'll be able to hear from other people as well. Just like today's class was interactive and Sarah Khanna was able to ask questions and see, you know, what you were feeling and see which journey you need to go on, um, the classes will be the same. So you'll be able to hear from people. Um, through, you know, through the chat boxes and hear what their successes are and if they're having trouble in the same areas that you are. It's so much different than, you know, sitting down and, and picking up a book or reading an article or, you know, doing a, a self-assessment. It's, it's really be, being part of something and being part of this community with people from around the world who are all trying to really uh, beat this and, you know, find that inner calm, find that peace and tranquility that, like Sarah Hanna was saying, that we all deserve. Um, I did have a request to go back to that stress test for a minute, so I do want to go ahead and do that. I'm sorry if somebody missed it. Let me just welcome our newest members and I will get back to that slide in just a moment. Uh, welcome Hanna, welcome David, great to have you. Welcome, Esther. Wonderful. Nice to see you here, too. And welcome, Michal. Wonderful. Um, I would urge you, before we go ahead and close up in just a little bit, um, to please just come back and put your name and uh, the words, I'm in. I'd love to, like I said, be able to welcome you as well. And if you're having any um, troubles, please come and put your telephone number in as well so that we can reach out to you and help you secure your spot here before or they are gone. Uh, so let me go ahead and get back to that stress test. Oop, here we go. So, Sarhana, can you actually, if you don't mind, can you go through the numbering again? I know that we had some people taking their, you know, writing down their numbers and what they were, and you said 45 to 50 was in that kind of preventing um, stress if if we were under a certain number or over a certain number is there you know a scale that we should be going by here yeah I mean the 50 points you know means <laughs> you've got a perfect life you're you're eating beautifully you're <laughs> sleeping beautifully etc you know um, if you're in your 40s somewhere in there you're you're doing very nicely and as you get lower your stress is no doubtedly getting higher okay so it's I, I would be very surprised to find that a person who had a score of 25 or less was actually feeling well in life because um, things would be very out of balance. Can you imagine a person who, let's just say, lived on uh, you know, coffee and donuts and didn't sleep very well, never exercised, didn't have any time for things that they enjoy, um, didn't have a support system or much of one really, didn't feel a spiritual connection, didn't um, you know, just didn't tend to their life very well. How happy and relaxed and calm and full of joy could that person be? Now, they could be focused 100% on, let's say, number two. Um, maybe they're a workaholic, right? And they're not, they're not um, leaving time for anything else, but they do feel that what they're doing is important or valuable. Maybe they're making a lot of money, or maybe they're making a big difference in the world. Maybe they're changing people's lives, and they feel very charged up by that. And that's what's actually giving them, let's say, 25 points there, because they're, or something, like they're, they've got, well, they could get, you know, five points on that, right? But they're... But it's so, those five points are so powerful that it's kind of carrying everything for them. Um, but still, if you don't take care of yourself, your body rebels eventually. So um, there's only so much we can push ourselves. But when you're doing something that does feel important, meaningful, and valuable, you're going to pre be producing the kind of chemistry that actually renews and recharges you. Um, and you'll ride on that for a certain distance. That's the truth. But um, therefore, you know, you'll have number three as well. You'll have the energy for a while, okay? But again, if you don't take time and have some balance, eventually, even with that, you will find yourself eventually burnt out. So um, balance is the key. And uh, having everything, you know, that you enjoy your life, that you feel you're doing something that's good and right for you, that you... 
um, are pumped enough to have enough energy that and you know that you're connected um, and grounded with Hashem so that when things go wrong um, you feel supported you're not going to fall apart it's you're not going to collapse at every disappointment and failure because you feel held up and you have a perspective that um, really carries you through that you have people to carry you through as well and that you take care and nurture your body because you love yourself and feel you deserve that um, and that you have fun and that you, you laugh and you uh, you know that you have time for creativity and stuff and that you have time to know who you are and what you're doing and why you're doing it um, these are all important parts of, of fighting off stress in the long run excellent thank you Thanks for clarifying that, and um, I just saw actually another one uh, asked to come back to this, so I'm glad that we were able to review and come back to the stress test. And mm -hmm. as soon as you join as well, um, in your membership area, you will also get a copy of this recording and the slide presentation, so you'll be able to go ahead and print that out or take the notes that are necessary. Um, so as soon as you become that member and you get into your membership area, you'll find this there as well. Um, Juliet, in answer to your question, how do we access the bonus courses that will be in your membership area at the end of the five-week course. So the bonuses will actually be available um, right after the first class and we will send out instructions and emails on how to access your private membership area and in there you will not only find each class's recordings but you'll also find your bonuses there as well and um, they will be audios, so you can listen to them right there on the computer, or you can download them either onto another device that you have to take with you, or you can download them onto CDs and take those with you as well. Um, and in answer to, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Lindsay's question, um, when you invite a friend or family member, I had mentioned that they also get the bonuses. They have their own private membership area as well, so it's not that you're sharing the classes or that they have to come over and do it together, although that might be a nice idea. Uh, but I'm sure there are people who are, you know, joining from different parts of the world. So you'll have an, your own special login, and they will have their own special login, and you can listen to them, you can talk about them, and, um, you know, take that journey together. Uh, <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, great. So let me go ahead and get back here. We're going to actually wrap up in just a little bit. I want to try to get to as many other questions as we've uh, got time for. If you have any questions, again, regarding the course, the memberships, how to join uh, or register, please go ahead and put any of those questions in now. I'd be happy to answer those. Uh, if you have questions or need help registering, please just go ahead and put your name and your telephone number in. And if we're not able to get to all of these questions, I really urge you to join, sign up. You'll be able to learn so many more techniques and tools, um, just as Sarah Hanna was mentioning. Um, but like I said, this, you know, I, I think that the overall consensus was is that those feelings that you go through when you are feeling quote unquote stressed out or full of stress, uh, you know, the anxious, the overwhelmed feelings, feelings that you're just drained, you know, you get angry, you get moody, you get upset. Um, I, you know, I saw people were saying they feel inadequate, that they can't, you know, they can't manage everything, but um, I, I want you to know, you know, that you're not alone. These, these are all of the responses that we received. Everybody is really here on the same page. People are feeling sad and lonely and, you know, hopeless and worried and, and that's why we offer, you know, this, this course. That's why Sarah Khan is here to give you remedies, to give you tools, to give you techniques so that you can uh, change this whole perspective on life. You can change the way that you are going through life and I think I liked what you said best, Sarah Khan, when you said, you know, you deserve it yes. and you do. I think yeah. that that was probably, I, that, I'm, that definitely resonated with me, um, you know, so much uh, that, you know, take your 15 minutes of time, take your appointment time with yourself, I also really love that tool, um, put everything else away, put it to the side, put it in the little shoebox, and come back and enjoy the rest of your day, because you deserve it. I, I really just, I love that, and I hope that that really, you know, sticks with everybody as we are uh, closing up here. So um, let me just get to one of these last questions. And again, uh, 
when we do close up, I won't be able to see any of the questions or any of your information. So um, please go ahead and put that in now so that I can do my best to answer anything that you still have lingering. Um, and let me see just uh, something that came in here. Oh, um, Sarah Hanna, we had asked, um, someone had actually asked earlier, I just uh, found it. How do you use the rumination, ruminating thought techniques, the, you know, for the 15 minutes without adding more negative stress um, and emotions into your head? Uh, actually, we didn't uh, get around to talking about the um, ruminating thoughts techniques exactly. We just, um, so, yeah, if you uh, use your 15 minutes to just worry, um, you will have more stress, not less stress. So the techniques that we'll be looking at in the five-week course are about how to um, how to intervene with these thoughts in such a way that they get straightened out, sorted out, relieved, and removed. Um, the only thing we really talked about today was if you had an issue uh, that does have um, the ability to be solved with you know, actual practical techniques in the world, we'll take care of that first, okay? Um, but some of the issues we have are not like that. For example, let's say we have um, an older single child at home and all we do is worry about whether that child's going to find their, you know, their marriage partner and move on with life and we find ourselves stressed by that. We worry about it at night, we have bad sleeps, we think about it during the daytime. So using um, the strategy we talked about today, we would write that down on a piece of paper that we have a concern in that department about this child who's whatever, 35 years old or whatever, um, and we put that in a piece of paper and put it in the shoebox and shut it. Now we go about our day, we have a great day. Okay, but at nine o'clock at night when we made our appointment with ourselves, we take that issue out of the shoebox and now we're going to um, do something with our thought process. So there are detailed techniques on what to do with it, but um, I'll just say for now that even if a person used journaling, which is a very popular technique, um, even that has a different effect on the brain than just worrying in the background because the worrying in the background is a very circular, that ruminating thing is a circular, stress-inducing, annoying process that kind of just goes around and around, what will be, what will be, what will be, I don't know what will be, and it doesn't really go anywhere. Now when you start to write it out, and there's different types of journaling techniques, a lot of different types, but I'm going to give you know a few different ones in the course, but I'll give you your basic starter one here, is simply write it out the problem, okay, and, and how you feel about it. Um, what you, um, like all your feelings about it, all your worries. When you take um, pen to paper or even now there's a lot of online journals, you can do it on your device, you can do it on your computer, whatever it is, you, you're typing it in, um, a different process is accessed in your brain than the ordinary worrying process and the thoughts are kind of like ironed out, it's like um, a braid that is untangled and in that process clarity and calm will often emerge. Now these are not journals that you need to keep and reread. You can actually tear them up as soon as you finish writing it because the therapeutic value is in the process of releasing the thoughts. And the same way, in a certain way, when we talk to a therapist, um, you know, talking to a therapist is not like talking to yourself either. It's like, you know, when you ruminate, you haven't done anything therapeutic. But when you've unloaded your pain to a professional listener, um, there is a therapeutic result in that, and often a very large one. And uh, what you're doing here in journaling is your journal has become the therapeutic listener, and there is a therapeutic value to that. So that's just an idea to get started, but we're going to learn some pretty sophisticated techniques that are even better than that, so <laughs> just stay tuned. <laughs> Yeah. Excellent. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. And mm -hmm. um, I have to thank Adina here. Welcome. I'm glad that you're in. And thank you. I can't believe that I didn't even mention this yet. But when you do go ahead and sign up today and you become a, a basic or a platinum member, you're actually going to have an additional bonus available to you at the very end. Um, and that is a full 15-part uh, parenting course straight from Sarah Khanna as well. And like I had mentioned in the beginning, uh, 
she is very well known and well sought after for all of her parenting advice and her parenting techniques. So again, I urge you to sign up before we uh, run out of time and we run out of spots, but that is an extra special bonus in addition to um, everything that you've seen and heard about today. So after you sign up, you'll get the chance to also add that. So make sure uh, that you go now. I'm going to put that link one more time into the chat box. I'll go ahead and get it back up on your screen so that's easy for you as well. And if you have any other questions, please just come on back. I'm going to go ahead and close up in just a couple minutes. Um, I would love to be able to go ahead and welcome our um, newest members that I'm just seeing here. Welcome, Moshe. It's wonderful to have you. Welcome, Nahama. Welcome, Julie, Elaine, and... Amy, welcome. Wonderful. It's great to have you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just ask um, Sarah Khan if you could just leave us with a few words. Um, you know, what can we what can we walk away from today with? A, a few words about <laughs> a few words about life. About uh, you have anything in specific you had in mind? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just say just, this. Yeah, uh, yeah go ahead. Go ahead. Closing, a clo just a closing statement of you know uh, statement. you know what we can. But we can really walk away from. You know, I we're going to learn um, techniques that will be inspirational for the people around us too. People can look at you and say, "Wow, with all that you've got going on in your life, you know, this ill person, this this uh, stressful situation with your child, this 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 that, I cannot believe that you're still smiling, but really smiling. It's not just a a social face you're putting on. I see the joy radiating from you." Uh, what the thought that I want to leave is that, look, life has its very difficult parts, but we don't want to let that ruin the entire experience. And when we know how to manage stress, the difficult parts do not have to overshadow everything so that we're no longer able to access the deep reserves of love and joy and gratitude that are our birthright also. We don't want to let just the dark side overtake everything. There is a challenge that constantly for us to face every single day and every single moment, but with the right uh, tools, we can actually be happy even though we're handling all of that. That is the main point I want to say. It's not that problems are going to go away. It's that we're going to be strong enough and healthy enough to deal with those effectively and we're going to be happy enough to enjoy life despite the hard part of it. Great, thank you so much. Thank you for mm -hmm. your time uh, and for being with, uh, with us here today. It was really, really nice to have oh, you. And thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you to everyone who joined us like uh, from around the world. It was amazing. It was a great turnout. It was really nice to see all of you. Well, quote unquote, see. But um, <laughs> I could see who was, you know, writing in, and it was really nice to be here with you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave the webinar open for just a couple minutes, so you have a chance to get your name and telephone number if you do have any questions or if you need any help with anything. Um, I don't want to go ahead and I don't want to lose that, um, so you won't hear anything. It'll just be the screen, but you can go ahead and put your information in if uh, if you need some help. We'd be happy to reach out. Um, thank you so much. Thank you, Shira, for your kind words. Thank you so much, Sarah Hanna. It was wonderful being here with you. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye.